angel had given to Daniel had to do with the Jewish people in the end times. And it's blocked by the principality of Persia, Iran. Today, Israel views as its greatest enemy, not the Soviet Union is gone, not even China, not even, but Iran. That happens to be the same one that is linked to the principality that's trying to stop the revelation of Israel in the last days. So now Israel comes back. Think about that. Israel comes back as the prophecy, the, the Bible said, coming back. Israel comes back into the world and it's as if it activated, reactivated the principalities. Because the principality is trying to stop the revelation that's talking about what's happening now or what's going to happen with Israel. Iran is behind it. Where did they get those missiles from? They got them from Iran or they got them from money to pay it from Iran. All from Iran. Which behind Iran is the principality which wants to destroy Israel. Where did all this conflict begin? It began, this most recent one, began on the Temple Mount or is linked to the Temple Mount. Why? For the same reason that Israel itself is the center of conflict and fury. Why? Because the Jewish people have to, why do they have to battle just to stay alive? Because of the purposes of God. Because the Bible says that the purposes of God come through that nation, come through Israel. If you're born again today, it's because the purpose of God came through Israel and you are born again today. They brought the Word. They brought, it wasn't them. It's about God. But they brought the Word. They brought Messiah. They brought salvation so you could be saved. Yes. And it is foretold that at the end they will again, the nation of Israel will come back. It's back. Will usher in the purpose of God. Will usher in the coming of the Messiah and the kingdom of God. And Paul said when that happens, when that happens, when they come back to God, the curse itself is going to be lifted off the creation. How big is that? The enemy's finished. And the knowledge of God will cover the earth. Now this is big. This is the end game. It's the fulfillment of all the prophecies and purposes of God that darkness knows it. The, they don't, the, the, the enemy doesn't know everything, but he knows some things. The forces of hell know it. The Sar Paras the principality of Persia knows it. He stopped, he's tried to stop the angel from even talking about it to get to Daniel. Since the days of Israel's rebirth, the forces of hell have been trying to wipe it out. From the very moment, the day that it was declared, they tried to wipe it out. And the whole world the United Nations, you know, with all that they do, all the nations of the world kill, you know, China, Soviet Union, others killing millions of their own people, never condemned them. But they have condemned the tiny little democracy called Israel more than it's condemned all the nations of the world put together. What is that? That is demonic. That is not natural. That makes no sense. But it makes sense spiritually. Because Israel is back for a reason. And within Israel, it centers on the city of Jerusalem. That's why Jerusalem is always the conflict. Always. And within Jerusalem, it centers on a little piece of land called the Temple Mount. Because that is where God's going to reign. That's where Messiah is coming. That's where the temple stood. And so the enemy has focused his fury on Israel, the Jewish people, on the land of Israel, the city of Jerusalem, and the Temple Mount. What has the enemy done? Well, you look at, go to the Temple Mount today, and you will find on the Temple Mount is a dome of a rock, a Muslim, right on where the Holy of Holies may have been, right on there. Why? Because you can't build with that thing on there. On the eastern side of the Temple Mount, the Golden Gate, through which Messiah is going to enter, and you have a reproduction of it right on that corner there, it's all walled up. Why? Because a Muslim ruler said, who told the Messiah is coming, we're going to wall it up. When you go to the Temple Mount, they don't, they, they, they're getting a little looser, but they, they don't, don't even allow you to pray there. Like, why is the enemy so, why is it so much, why? Can't pray, can't open up a Bible. I always try to nevertheless get the ironic blessing in without them arresting me. <laughs> one time I thought, you know, because you know, we got kicked off once, you know. But one time I was there, I, this is not in the notes, You're, I get a little looser on the second service. Uh, <laughs> one time I was going to pray and, 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 and all of a sudden, because usually they're watching all over everything you do, and 
they're all gone. All the Islamic authorities are gone, and we didn't know what happened. Turned out somebody from our group, a lady, one, one of the buses, uh, ran up the Temple Mount waving an Israeli flag. <laughs> they all got distracted. I gave the blessing. So he said, from now on, we got to have somebody running up with that. No, no, no. Why is the enemy so sensitive about that Temple Mount? Because of what is coming. Coming. And so all this that happened was triggered by the Temple Mount. It triggered all this hell, fury against Israel, linked to Iran. The war, funded by, but linked to the Temple Mount. By Iran, here. You see, the enemy will always seek to attack the purposes of God. To prevent it, stop them. Hinder them. Hi, I'm Jonathan Kahn, and I hope you were blessed with the video. Make sure you hit the subscribe button and tap the bell icon so you're notified every time a new video is posted. Feel free to share your reactions with your comments and how you were blessed, and share this video with your friends. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.